Hey, you got my mics? Check, 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 check. All right, sweet. Put the mic yet, but it'll be up there.
years ago started with some vision uh, a long time ago and then we finally came to fruition here and uh, although we're not opening up ideally how we would like to with a thousand kids in, in the building we will have open and, and eventually we'll get to that thousand kids in the building so thank you for your patience and understanding this fall but thank you for your dedication to the students and the, and the stewardship of, of Bozeman education over the past years, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I also want to thank uh, Langless con uh, Contracting, Steve and Bill Langless, Roger Davis, Josh Hegman, uh, and the r entire Langless team for putting this building together. Cushing, Terrell Architects and Engineers and team, led by Scott Wilson as a principal, Nathan Helfrich and Bob Franzen as the uh, project architects. TDNH, our civil engineering partners, uh, Kyle and Cody. DCI, our structural engineers, uh, Matt Hubbard and uh, Jamie Lorenz, John uh, Lovegone. Also had HC uh, Design with our food service consultant, uh, Michael Miles. Elkhorn Commissioning with Kevin Smith. Bozeman Public Schools, we have a great board of trustees. Uh, if you're all here, please give a wave. We have uh, Sandy Wilson, Greg Neal, Andy Willett, Tanya Reinhardt, Gary Lucine, Wendy Tage, Douglas Fisher, Kevin Black, and yes, Heidi, I did remember you, Heidi Arneson. Uh, some of the people that make my life a lot easier, we have Steve Johnson as our Deputy Superintendent of Operations, Marilyn King as our Deputy Superintendent of Instruction, Casey Bertram is our Deputy Superintendent of Curriculum and Technology. We also have Pat Strauss, our Director of Human Resources, Todd Schweinhardt, Director of Facilities, Mike Waterman, our Director of Finances, Erica Schnee, our current Gallatin High School Principal. I do want to thank the students, the PAC, and the Booster Club. It, it's a tough go to get things going, and they've done a great job in starting. Please look at their tables on the way out. Make sure you at least pick up the paperwork to join the pack or join the booster club. We'd, we'd love that uh, support for those guys. And I want to thank the entire BSD 17. The other significant contributors, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, mention Rob Watson, who's currently the Missoula County Superintendent on his stride up here. Here he comes. <laughs> also want to make uh, Kevin Conwell, who had a big piece in this as the uh, former uh, Bozeman High principal. Our high school staff, the city of Bozeman, uh, led, currently led by Chris Mell, done a great job with that, and our collaborative for high performance schools. We also have uh, high uh, transition committee members. Any tr transition committee members, give us a wave if you would, please. If you're a part of that, thank you. <laughs> Probably the one that's been ridden roughshod a little bit is the transfer committee. Give us a wave if you've been on that. No one's admitting to that. Okay, good, good. I do want to, uh, I do want to acknowledge our uh, MSU partner in Dr. Uh, Wadid Cruzado and Stephanie Gray from Gallatin County, or excuse me, Gallatin College. And um, Mike and Kirk, could you please step forward too? Because this is probably where the vision started. It was Mike Redburn and Kirk Miller um, years ago when this all started? To, hey, when we get to this number, we need a second high school. So please acknowledge Mike Redburn and Kirk Miller, two of our former superintendents. It's without visionaries like those two, uh, you know, it made Rob and my job a lot easier as we move forward. 
uh, difficult in the short term, but in the long term, vision like that allows us to keep moving forward. So thank you very much, Mike and Kirk. We appreciate everything you've done for Bozeman School District. Now I want to turn it over to Rob, since he was really involved in this. Thanks, Bob. Hello, Bozeman. <laughs> How about this one? Hello, Raptors. Uh, thank you very, very much. It's just a wonderful opportunity to be here today on a beautiful Bozeman day. Um, opportunity to celebrate and say thank you, as Bob just did. I just, uh, I just want to just stop for a second and just admire the accomplishment that we have achieved, that you have achieved. Uh, it's really an amazing feat. What started off as an idea and then became a commitment, not only for ourselves, but our, for, for our community. Just really, really exciting. I just also want to acknowledge what this means, not only for the students that are in front of you, but the literally thousands of students that will come for the next 100 years. It's a wonderful accomplishment. It's something we should all be very proud of. It's something that Bozeman should be very proud of. And thank you for allowing me to be part of it. Thank you, Rob. Uh, Daryl, did Daryl make it, Steve? Yes. Okay, here we go. I'm going to turn it over to Daryl Schlem right now from uh, the Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Thank you for having us here today. And go back to the same way that your sentiment of your words. Uh, it goes back that the Bozeman and Gallatin County here have been very fortunate, starting with Kirk Miller, then losing Rob. I'm starting to think maybe Deputy Director Steve Johnson might be the issue, though, Steve. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Steve. It's uh, your leadership, too, that's worked with the Chamber of Commerce, the business community each year coming forward, and Bob, your presentations, along with Rob and Kirk for the years. The business community is very fortunate to have leaders like you in difficult times to get us through this. And Bozeman and Gallatin County and the new high school, we will all be more successful because of it by working together. We have a very, very resilient community. We want to thank all the business community here and us all, all the family to be able to deal through these times. We're just very blessed to have the leadership that we have for our education programs here. So congratulations on this big day on behalf of the Bozeman Area Chamber of Commerce and our board of directors. So congratulations, Bob. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over to the guy that ran the, the previous three guys out, according to Daryl, uh, Steve Johnson. Could any uh, trustees that are here come up, please? Board of Trustees. So for those of you that don't know, the Green Coat Ambassadors uh, are basically ambassadors of the Bozeman Area Chamber of Commerce, and we welcome uh, new businesses to the community. That's our primary role. Obviously, this is not a new business, uh, but it is a new building. And uh, as Daryl said, um, without the support of the uh, business community, 
uh, this will not have happened. Uh, obviously, the voters approved to tax themselves significantly to make this uh, a reality. But with the business community uh, behind us um, all the way, that, that was very helpful. So with that, uh, on behalf of the uh, Green Coat Ambassadors, uh, congratulations to the Bozeman School Board for this wonderful accomplishment. Thank you. We will continue those tours if you've signed up for them until 4 o'clock. Uh, Erica will uh, be in charge of those. So thank you all for coming out. Appreciate your time. Raptor Band, well, wait a second. I, yep, I, I just saw Jeffrey stand up and give me the high sign. I got you, Jeff. All right, here we go. The Raptor Band, new school song. That's awesome. Hey, thanks, everybody. Jeff, band sounds great. Cheerleaders did a great job, all right? Raptors up. Keep after it.